Welcome to Breakthrough. Thank you for joining us. Be sure to click the subscribe button followed by the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. Good evening once again. Good morning. Good afternoon. It could be three o'clock in the morning, two o'clock in the morning. Don't even matter. But blessings be in the name of the Lord. So just sit back a minute. Once again, my name is Pastor Clay, Pastor Evan, the Breakthrough family. And we're here to give you a fresh word today. It's truly an honor and pleasure to be here to, to bring this word to you because it's our function to operate in the Holy Spirit for you. And I probably need to say that again, that the word that we're sharing with you today is for you. All right, so don't be in a quick moment to just shoot past and go down to the next feet. Slow down a minute, relax and receive a word for a minute. I got a powerful word I wanna share with you. Let me open. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you today. Touch every mind, every eye that's seeing, every ear that's listening. In the name of Jesus, we bag up every demonic force of depression, stress, anxiety, and all the mental illnesses, sickness, disease. We bag it up today in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for power right now that's being released right now through the airwaves, Father, that's touching souls all over the world right now. And we thank you right now for peace that'll fall fresh right now in the name of Jesus. We thank you. Amen. And once again, I always say amen because amen means that I agree. That's what amen means. So sit back and relax while I share this word with you. I have a word that I want to share with you today pertaining to one of the greatest lies ever told. One of the greatest lies ever told is the lie that we hear in our mind. Most of the time, these lies is always going to be the opposite of what God says in his word. Well, what do you mean about that? One of the greatest lies ever told was that you're never going to be anything. Another one is that you're not going to be successful. Another one is going to be you're always going to be sick. Another one, you're going to always be an addict. You're going to always be this. You're going to always be that. And continue on in your mind. And it goes like this around in circles unless it stops. And the only way it can stop is the Holy Spirit has to cease the power of it. So I want to give you a word today that when you're in the midst of the storm, don't run from God, run to God. I'm going to say that again. When you're sitting there and your anxiety level is on 10 and you're sitting there and you got stuff going on in your, in your life, and it don't matter what it may be. It may be a sickness going on with a family member. It, it may be you, you, you may not have nowhere to stay. It may be that your finances is looking dry. Go unto your power. What power are you talking about? The power of the Holy Spirit. He will supply your every need. I want to leave that for you. So, yes, it's Christmas season. Yes, we, some of us have family members that's talking crazy to us and all this stuff is going on in our life right now. Yes, it's Christmas season where we sometimes don't have a peace of mind right now. Our hearts is broken because our family members is talking about us, going to turn their backs. You may be in need right now, but Jesus haven't forgotten you. Well, I don't want to, I don't know. I've been hearing stories all my life about Jesus going to do this and Jesus. Gonna... Well, be quiet and listen. He want to give you direction what to do. Be quiet. And I speak right now to every confused spirit right now. And the confused spirit is when you're just talking. And you're not hearing anything. Because you got all the answers. I'm talking to them. You don't think God is able? You answer that. Let me get into this word with you because our time is limited. I don't want you to miss not even a moment. I'm coming out of 1 John chapter 4 right now in 1. And this is what it said. Dear friends, talking to you. Do not believe every spirit, but test the spirit to see whether they are from God. Well, what you mean about that, Pastor Clay? See, when you test the spirit of God, you take God's word, his promises, and line it up to your thoughts. Hmm. 
then you will see who is who and what is what. Because one of the lies that happens to us starts in our minds. And we become the very thing that we think, as the Bible says, that so as a man thinketh, he is. So you test the spirit. So when uh, you hear a voice in your mind that says, I'm feeling depressed right now. I'm feeling uncomfortable right now. I, I, I don't know what to do. Test it. And then delete it. Because the word of God says, whoever the son sets free is free indeed. The word of God says that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. It didn't say it wasn't going to be formed, but he said it won't prosper. The word of God says in 1 Peter, he said, cast all your cares upon me because I care. Can you see the difference in that? Can you see how you have to build on the foundation of God? If you want to come out, give God a chance to help you. Yeah, I know you may be hurt. I know you got some trust issues. I know some people are going to let you down. I know sometimes we feel all alone. But God has our back. He say to see whether what you're thinking has come from God. So what you thinking right now? You want to shoot down to the next feed right quick? That's what you're thinking? Maybe. Is that the spirit of God telling you that? God will never tell you to leave himself. Hmm. So one of the keys is, is to position yourself. And once again, get in tune with us here at the Breakthrough Church so that we can assist you, that we can pray with you. That we can help you to grow in the word of God. We're not here just to be in a religion form. I'm just going to talk to you about what Paul did. But I'm talking about what I'm doing in the word of God. God want me to grow with him. He don't want me to be the same way I was last year. He want me to come in with a new bang. And I don't mean a New Year's bang with a bottle of champagne. I'm talking about a bang in the word of God. Coming in the new year, saying this year is going to be favorable. This year is going to be blessed. I'm going to walk with the Lord this year. I'm going to talk with the Lord this year. I'm going to prosper this year in the name of Jesus. And remember, the name of Jesus is your power. Anytime you begin to hear any negative thoughts, all you have to say in the name of Jesus and watch the power of it break. So I want you to understand today that this is a day of breakthrough. I want you to understand that the word of God has been placed before you. It's your responsibility to use it. So cast down every negative thought, every power of energy that's negative. Cast it down and put the name of Jesus on it and watch where God take you to that place of peace, freedom in him. I want to encourage you, do not let circumstances turn you away from God. I want to say it again. Do not let circumstances turn you away from God. Run to God. Submit to God. How you submit to him? Because I'm hurting. You fall to your knees and say, Lord Jesus, I need you. Come into my heart. Take control of my situations. Change my heart so I may worship you and see your glory. And with that, you be encouraged once again from the Breakthrough Church, Pastor Clay, Pastor Everett, and the Breakthrough family. And it's truly an honor and pleasure. Once again, we look forward to hearing from you. Have a blessed day. Keep your head up. And remember this, delete all negative thoughts.